Hi. Say hi. Hi. It's Independence Day. What day is today? Independence Day. Show me your 4th of July shirts. Ooh, Grayson's got the flag and Porter's got his red, white, and blue. <gasps> yeah. Um, Woohoo. And today is Independence Day. Are you Prince Eric? Am I Prince Eric? Yeah. Here are all the fireworks. Yep, so we got, I went to the store and I got some fireworks to shoot off tonight because I don't think we're going to be able to go out and see the real fireworks because they're on at like 10 p.m. at night. The kids go to bed at like 7.30 and we have an infant. So this is our Mama. compromise. Mama. Instead of big fireworks, we'll Mama. do little fireworks. Mama. And Grayson has been pumped. He's been looking at these fireworks every day, we'll counting down the days till we can set them off. So we will uh, set them off and hopefully they are worth it i don't know they were like 25 bucks it's kind of expensive for fireworks but i don't know i think this is like the first year or maybe the second year that like fireworks are actually legal in ohio in the past you weren't able to sell fireworks or you weren't supposed to set them off except if it was like I want to show a government it. doing it or something or a city doing it but then they changed the law it was either last year or this year and so now you can buy fireworks in Ohio. You used to have to go up to like Michigan to buy them, but now they're legal, whatever. So we're gonna set them off. And I think, and I don't know if I'm gonna regret this or not, but I think we're gonna try and take the kids to a 4th of July parade. Our city that we live in has a 4th of July parade. They do like parades for everything. Going to the cruise ship in 27 days. Nope, 26 days. Whoa. Whoa. That's what. Yeah, we're very excited for the cruise. But today is the 4th. So anyway, like I was saying, our little city puts on a 4th of July parade. They do like every holiday. Mm -hmm. They do a St. Patrick's Day parade. And I guess I don't even know what else they do. But they do a 4th of July parade. We've never gone to it before, so I have no idea how crazy it is. I assume 4th of July parades are crazy and ridiculous. We went to one last year when we were vacationing in Georgia with Anthony's family, and it was busy. But the kids liked it. It was kind of long. But, like, they hand out candy. They, like, give people kids candy during these parades. So I kind of figured, like, since we're not going to go and see fireworks tonight, maybe we'd do the parade instead and if it's not too bad then maybe we can make it like a yearly tradition i don't know so i'm hoping a lot of people are like out of town in other parts of the country today and so it won't be too busy at this fourth of july parade like who wants to come to columbus ohio for the fourth of july so we'll see um, the other thing I like about this parade is it's at 11, so it's not like we have to like rush around this morning and get there. It doesn't start till 11, so we can kind of take our time this morning, get dressed, whatever, and then I think we're gonna go and try it, and if it's horrible, we'll just get ice cream and go home. That's what we have planned for this morning, and then after nap time, we are hosting a 4th of July party. So we're gonna have, it's not even that big of a party. We're having my parents come and I think they're gonna bring their dog Berkeley. And then my brother and his wife are gonna come over. All my other siblings are not coming. Um, my one sister's in Greece, my one sister's in Akron, and then two of my brothers are in Cincinnati. So kind of a smaller party this year, but we got a watermelon. It's actually the first watermelon I've bought this year. I love watermelon. I just feel like we never go through it and then I'm always throwing out watermelon. I, I'm weird and I don't like leftover watermelon. I just like it fresh. So that's why I haven't been buying because I don't want to waste my money. But we got it because you have to have watermelon for a summer party. And then I got some corn on the cob and I'm going to make this like yummy corn salsa that my friend made. Um, about a month ago she sent me the recipe because it was like the best salsa i've ever had so we're gonna try i'm gonna try and recreate it 
and we got chips and cookies and we bought brats and burgers and hot dogs and Anthony's gonna grill out and we're just gonna hang out shoot off some fireworks and have fun and do the parade yeah yeah we'll just kind of see how today goes I'm trying to like create memories and traditions for our kids but not really sure how it's gonna go we're kind of like in limbo like we don't really have a tradition because we're like every year i swear it's something different it seems to be that we're usually traveling on the fourth and this time we're actually home so we'll see how it goes this year uh, when i was growing up as a kid we always did the same thing every year and i kind of like did that for our kids but I don't know. So anyway, that is our plan. I will vlog here and there, different things. Grayson is so excited for this holiday. He's been counting down the days, looking at the fireworks every single day. He is so pumped. I think he's the most excited kid ever. So I'm trying to make it a special holiday for him, even though it's kind of like, you know, just the fourth. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> This is Avery's first 4th of July, and look, I got her in the cutest little outfit. My mom found it on clearance at Meyer, and we had to get it, huh? Because you're just so cute. Yeah. We are back from the parade. It was a success. It was very busy, like we thought. But we found spots. The boys got lots of candy. They saw lots of floats. We actually didn't even stay the whole time because the boys got bored with it. It was a long parade. Like, we were there for an hour, and there were still more floats coming. So we were done, and we left early, which is kind of good because we avoided the traffic. So now we are back home. Porter's doing nap. I'm waiting for Avery to get tired. Then I'm going to put her down for a nap. Grayson's doing quiet time. Anthony and I are working. Anthony's cleaning the grill. We've had our grill ever since we got married. So that'll be seven years this summer. Have never cleaned it. That's so gross. So Anthony's out there cleaning it right now. I'm in here strategizing what bowls I want to put chips in and my bean dip. As soon as Avery goes down, I'm going to start cutting up the watermelon and doing the dip and stuff. I think people are coming here about four or five, so we have time. And it's only like two of my family that's coming. But Anthony and I are like trying to clean as much as we can. I don't know. It just seems like a big deal. So I've got tortilla scoops. This is the corn. I'm gonna make and I'm gonna put like my dip in here. Then we've got just some regular chips for people to munch on. I've got this serving platter so we can put like the hot dogs and hamburgers on here. Um, watermelon, I'm gonna put it in here in my little watermelon bowl. And then we have cookies that we got from Costco. So I'm gonna need to put those out somewhere. I'm not sure where. So that's what we've got going on. Anthony is cleaning and we are ready. Well, we're not ready, but we're getting ready for the 4th of July. I hope you all are having an awesome 4th of July. It is beautiful weather. It's hot. It's supposed to be like in high of 88 today. It's 85 right now. It is hot, but there's clouds mixed in there. So we get belts of shade, which is really nice. And there's a little bit of a breeze going, so it's not too bad. Typical summer day here in Ohio. Bye.
doing it for ya. Uh, yeah. The, Did you have a good day, Grayson? Grayson, what was your favorite part of today? Mm, shooting the fireworks. Shooting the fireworks, that was pretty cool. Did you love them? Mm hmm Okay. Good night, I love you. See you in the morning. Happy 4th of July. Say happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, America. Did you have a good 4th of July? Uh -huh. I don't know what's pretty what was, what was your favorite part of today? Fireworks. The fireworks. That was so fun. Was it loud? Yes. Yeah. Was it scary? Yes. Yeah. Was it fun? Yes. Yes. Okay. I love you. Good, I, good night. I I was holding my pants yesterday off my... You covered your ears so that it wasn't so loud? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like this. Oh, nice. Hey everyone, it's the next day, so it's July 5th. Side note on July 5th, I cannot tell you how many TikToks I saw this morning of people being like, oh, it's July 5th, that means it's official, it's Halloween season, summer is over, because the July 4th holiday is over. Like, people, calm down, it is still summer, it's gonna be like 90 degrees today, and people are talking about Halloween. What, when did that become a thing? I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog. We had an awesome day yesterday. Anthony and I were on our feet like the whole day. It was so busy. I forget how much work it is to host. <laughs> I guess it sounds like we're gonna be hosting for the next year or so while my parents are building their new house because um, they're about to sell their current one and then kind of be in limbo for a year. So now I'm gonna have to host. So it's just a lot more work for Anthony and I, but that's okay. It's kind of nice having everyone here because then we can just put Avery down for naps, Porter down for naps, and put the kids down for bed and not have to like pack everything up and all that. But it was so much fun. Um, Anthony grilled out and we had brats and hamburgers and hot dogs. My mom brought um, ice cream treats for every day to have. We had cookies and cupcakes, lots of desserts. I made my corn salsa dip and it turned out really well. A lot of people liked it. I thought it tasted really good too. It's almost gone and I made a lot of it. So all in all it was really fun and then we set off just a couple fireworks in our front driveway. That was like the safest place we thought to do it and it was just like eight I think total fireworks cost me like 25 bucks it was kind of expensive but whatever the boys loved it um some of them were just like sparklers coming out shooting out and then some of them were like made popping sounds i don't think they were crazy about the ones that were loud but they liked them and the amount we had was good enough and then we put them to bed at like eight and the whole night we just heard like fireworks going off all around our house. But thank goodness for sound machines cause all of our kids slept through the night. Even Avery slept through the night. She's taking a nap right now but she's probably gonna be up soon cause she's been napping for a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me. I've got like everything going right now. I guess this is just like cleanup day after the craziness of yesterday. So I'm doing like laundry. Um, Porter like peed all over last night so I'm like washing his sheets. I'm doing the dishes because we still have so many dirty dishes from yesterday so it's just kind of like a cleaning day. I need to like mop the floors. Lots of stuff going on. Porter is helping me and being a good helper. I guess I said help twice. What are you doing Port? I'm putting the caffeine into here. 
Thank you. Oh, you're being such a good helper. We have these little drawers for our coffee K cups to go in our Keurig machine. And the boys like to restock it whenever we need it restocked, which is nice because I don't like to take the time to do it. So that's what he's doing right now. And Grayson is enjoying a bowl of ice cream. We tell the kids if they eat all of their lunch or all of their dinner once a day, they can have ice, an ice cream treat. It seems to be a good motivator to eat everything on their plates. Yeah, I eat my ice cream, so I finished my dinner. You finished lunch. I finished lunch so I can have ice cream. Yes, and as you can see, Porter has not touched his lunch yet, so two opposite kids. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. I'm gonna close out this vlog. I hope you all had a great 4th of July. We had a great day. It was beautiful weather, very hot, but that's July for you. Glad it's done and over. And I think the next holiday is like Labor Day in September. So that's not for a while. So really we're just kind of focusing on getting ready for the cruise. That's in like 20 some days. So we're getting ready for that and just enjoying um summer so thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye, bye. say bye border